Hey everybody, welcome back to Women Carry Knives. Um, on the table in front of us, we are going to be taking a look at the Concept Knives Main Street, and this is designed by Dirk Pinkerton. Now this is the prototype. Um, in reaching out to Concept to find some out some more information on it, um, real quick, I'm just going to tell you that there is going to be a black G10, uh, a blue G10, and a carbon fiber. So this one, as you can see, is the carbon fiber version. And the blade steel on these will all be the D2. So you can see there, can you see that? Ooh, is it gonna focus? Yes, there you go. Um, this is a tiny little knife. Brand new, it is, like I said, it is D2, it's stiff but I love it. Um, the blade shape, what would you call this therapeutic edge? Let's see. I would call that a worn cliff. You'd call this one a worn cliff? Yeah, it's sort of a it's a, short sheep's It's like a worn sheep's cliff. footy worn cliff. Sheep's cliff. It's a sheep's cliff. Ooh, I like that. We're going to call it a sheep's cliff. Or a worn foot. Or a worn foot. Yeah, I think I'll go with sheep's cliff. Um, it is thumb studs. Like I said, it is carbon fiber. You have stainless steel liners in there, which you probably cannot see. Sorry about that. Um, you have the barrel spacers, which I believe, yeah, this is not a knife you're gonna wanna put a lanyard on because you just don't have enough of the clearance on there. Now, mind you, this is new out of the box. I've never seen this before. Like I said, it is a prototype. It came straight from concept. Um, they were asking me if I wanted to check it out. I said, absolutely. And I'm really liking it. Now, this does look like a titanium clip, which is interesting. Want me to grab a magnet? Why that? Yeah, if you could, because um, that's really different. Now... They sent me the knives. There is no specs. This is a tiny little thing. So if we're looking at the blade, we're looking about two and a quarter inches on the blade sh on the blade itself, and that's also going to be your cutting edge because you're you really wow you don't even really have a sharpening tool. This is these. not our high tech testing magnet, yeah. but it'll work. <laughs> yep, it that's is okay. So that's that's really trippy to me. I would think they would have used a stainless steel clip, but they did not. And, I mean, this one's got great retention. It goes in and out of the pocket really well. It doesn't catch. So, I think due to, like, the the way they have the tip ramped on there, it's not, you know, super catchy. Um, the handle length on this, let's do a closed length. So, your closed length is just a hair over three inches. Now, if you're looking at this, the overall length is super stiff right now. Super stiff. If you sure. are looking at this, you're talking one, two, three, four, four and a quarter inches. Okay, but what I was going to get out of Therapeutic Edge is, in my hand, it doesn't look, I mean, yeah, it's small, but it doesn't look super small. But in a Therapeutic Edge's hand, it's a it's wee so little die, right? Look at it. It's for when you're almost angry at someone. Yeah, oh, oh, oh. just, you know, kind of angry. You know what, though? I'm a huge Dirk Pinkerton fan, and this is a great yeah. little knife. I love it. So, you, and he just cut himself. But you don't, oh yeah, your blood's on the tip. This, this knife now belongs to Peter. It has chosen him. Chosen him. All right. I, yeah, I can't. This thing is so new. It is a little tough for me to flick. I don't know if that was Jerry or Jeremy that mentioned I had issues with one knife. And I do. I do. I absolutely have issues with flicking knives with the thumb studs until I get used to them. All thumb studs are different. All the placements are different. All the knives are different sizes. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to pretend like I can do every single one. Because you know what? I can't. So Jerry or Jeremy or whoever it was that commented, that fail is just for you. But again, this, uh, this is running on bearings. Now, all as far as I know, concept... All of their knives are running on bearings. Don't quote me on that, but I know that this one definitely is. Um, you know, it's really been a fun little knife because it's tiny. And if I had my little Oni here, I would show you. Um, it fits in the hand really well. Now, 
The clip is a little bit of a hot point. It's not too bad. It depends on where I put my hand on it. So if it's sitting up higher and I'm using it a lot, I definitely felt it. Um, if I'm holding it a, a little more sideways, it's not quite as bad. I mean, this thing is sharp. Well, obviously, because somebody cut their cell phone on it. But I have not had an issue cutting anything with it. It is super, super sharp. It feels pretty darn thin um, behind the edge. I love the jimping on the top of the blade. Not really. I mean, it's kind of a faux jimping, right? Because it's more on the sides. Um, but it's, it's to me, it's a really well done knife. And you can't go wrong with the Dirk Pinkerton design. I believe she said these were going to be in the... I want to say it was somewhere around the $60 range, and I'm not quite sure. I will have to go back, and I will have to find that. They are not for sale yet. Um, again, this is just the prototype, but um, I will definitely leave something down in the description about what she had said the price, what Concept says the price is. Um, a little bit more of the specs, because it's not something you're going to find online yet. Um, and if you're interested, that's awesome. They'll be coming out soon. Um, but yeah, it's kind of a little, just a good little, you know, pocket. See, that's a fail. Just a good little pocket buddy. <laughs> that sounds terrible, but you all understand what I mean. All right, you guys. So that's just been an overview of the prototype of Dirk Pinkerton's Main Street Design. Um, Concept Knives has created this. Absolutely love it. Um, I think it's a great little knife. It's good. going to be a good fifth pocket knife, back pocket knife, even a front pocket knife, however you want to do it. All right, you guys, thank you so much for joining me. As always, please feel free to leave me a comment in the comment section. If you're not a subscriber, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It helps out the channel, and I'd love to have you here all the time. Uh, feel free to check out one of my other videos over here. And until next time, thank you.